Hey guys, the following clip is just going to be something where we are controlling the smashers and the minibuses over at the pit amplifier. I hope you like it. So this is wave 5, we have the minibus here at the bottom. What we're now going to see is he's going to go for this wall. Um, something we can do is, you'll quickly see if I edit out this, this is wall 2. What he's going to do now is he'll walk over into the geyser. So as you see, like here, then they can go for that one. But yeah, this is how to trap the mini boss inside the geyser. And you'll see this is a... Uh, they'll just stay here and just keep going back in. So here he is and he'll just go back into the geyser again. They'll just keep jumping down under. Uh, yeah. So this is a this is pretty funny way to uh, <laughs> control the mini boss and smashes. And then we can bring him back down to the base by doing this. So if we put these back on the base, it creates a wall number one. You'll see what he's going to do is come back to the main base because he wants these instead and he'll go back down there. Hey everybody, this is Pit Amp. Now this is currently in Ty's base, so these are mostly Ty's tunnels that are working around here, apart from I do a lot of the sort of mechanics kind of things. But as we come down to the bottom, What's the fun thing is, which you could see in that short clip there, is that the smashers and the minibuses will try and run over here and go and trap themselves in this geyser. So they'll come up here and then they'll trap themselves into this place and it's quite difficult for them to get back out again. However, um, the way that this actually works is because of these two walls that are currently placed. So like many of my other builds, these are the aggro walls which are going to be drawing the aggro once you have edited the other walls over there into a archway. Um, these can also just get destroyed and then it will do the exact same function as an archway. The archways are basically a structure that the they don't count as walls to the AI such as the minibosses and the smashers. So what the like smashes can be a bit iffy with this one, but it is mostly when these walls are taken out or edited into archways, it will then take the nearest wall, which will need to be these two walls here. So as we can see, this wall over here and this wall over here are currently, so if we count from this wall, which is the one closer, this is one, two, three, four, five. So it's the fifth structure away. So if we come back the other way, one, and remember that we count from the inner corners. So anything that's, so if we imagine that the bottom of the base, this gray area is called ground zero. So imagine this is ground zero, anything which is connected to any corner. So any corner on the inside that touches here, whether it be above or below, counts as tile number one. Now, if we were to count away from these inside structures, this archway, would be wall number one. Then we have here wall number two, wall number three, wall number er, wall number four, wall number five, and wall number six. So the husk will be drawn first to this wall here, since it will be the closest one to the actual base, the amplifier. And just remember that you count away from the ground zero area. Now when you're doing this, because this is the 5th and 6th wall away, what you need to make sure you do is when you're building the rest of your base, that you don't build any walls within 5 or 6 tiles of this area. So you can't have walls which match the same wall distance as these two. So you have to count away 5 or 6 walls and you can't place anything within that same wall range if you want to easily path them over there. We, we have done it um, also with, with slightly different things, but um, I might have to cover that another time. This is this is an easy way to do it, to put in your tunnels. But for instance, what we're going to be doing is, so 
when you're building this build you also have to make sure that there is no other walls within five structures of any single corner well five or six structures of any of these corners as that is the distance of the ones near the geyser so if we come around here we'll be looking at the floor so this is the inside corner so this would be one then we're going to go across two turn well hold on. so if we were counting away from these inner corners to try and check that our bases are all right what we're going to do is have this wall here so this will be one we turn to side two and i'm going to build up three four five and then six so what we can see is that this wall would actually be the six wall so if i place this in here one two three four five six this is the six wall so this would be exactly the same as this wall on the far side next we have i will we'll count this one so this is one two three four oh gosh sorry about the, the lag five and six so this metal one is also the six wall so it's just basically when you're designing your builds you just have to make sure that the wall that you're trying to aggro them towards is less than all the other stru wall structures that are around your trap tunnels so pit is quite a nice one to do this on because pit doesn't have it's a big empty space really so you can build kind of cool different things and still be able to get them into the geyser quite easily as long as most of your trap tunnel build is focused on being up the top just make sure that to stop things going crazy in your build that you edit these back to walls afterwards or at least put place two walls down now you can have this however you want and you just make sure that you kind of put your walls in line with the side that they will be coming down so if they're coming to this side you might want to put your your walls more focus on this side or you can put them on this side I, I chose this side personally because i've got a nice little route where i bump them down anyway and it works for us guys at the minute but um this means that because it's closest to the geyser they have it is quicker for them to get round here so i can edit these back a lot faster than pathing them over from this side and then it means i can put the walls back to stop any other kind of things happening around the tunnels and scuffing them up so yeah this is just this is just a quick video just trying to explain this i i hope i put enough information into it but basically that's it just make sure that you go around your base and you count from every wall that you have placed the same the tiles to make sure that none of them are equal to or less than the aggro walls that you have built down there so as well for these ones we'd go one two three four five and that would then be six so the only real structure at the minute that's actually doing any good down oh <laughs> no one tell ty i've done that I'm not destroying bits of his base <laughs> but yeah this one's a six one so they might still aggro onto this because it's the closest and easiest one for them to get so they might still probably go for that but this is the main wall that they're going to want to focus on before they start maybe changing their minds about where they want to go so yeah just be sure that when you're doing this kind of geyser build is that just make make sure um you build the sides or build a little funnel piece in here just to kind of trap them in a lot easier so they can't actually bounce out because if you don't build something on the side they'll they'll easily be able to maybe bounce out of it and then that will be kind of annoying for when it actually comes to editing the walls back because once they're out they'll just go back for the base again so it's kind of up to you how you want to but it's just building kind of like the side walls necessary or just putting little bits in to make sure that they can't bump out um 
there might be something you experience which is where they might want to come around and loop around in circles that's because you can have different wall positioning up here to make them cycle around and go around in circles and keep going around this pathway which is precisely why I was trying to use like certain wall um, placement along these and it was a, a build that I was um, also testing but we just kept it as ar archways for now to just get them into the geyser rather than sending them around in circles Hey guys, as you can currently see, this is also an amplifier pit. The smashes are currently would be destroying the walls which are down the bottom. So instead of editing into archways, they're not going to be getting edited this time. So what you should see is the smashes should want to start to come back up in a second once they destroy what's down there and go into the geyser. So this dude, when he's finished, You'll see they'll break, they'll all break all the walls down there and then they'll come up into the geyser. So you see, like, oh, oh there's a taker here. So we just wait for the smashers. Oh, maybe not, maybe that wall's closer. I didn't think about that. No! <laughs> right. They're going into the geyser now. Alright, finally, they're going into the geyser now. That wall's closer, so I can't have that. So, yeah, there we go, and this is going to keep going back in. Whee! Oh no, I missed the mini boss. So hey guys, currently you can see the mini boss is currently in the geyser, as well as the <laughs> smash that is walking straight into the geyser at the minute. Um, this is because the build has actually been done where everything's kind of floating by now. There's no structures connected here, so this would be the same as using an archway build, um, effectively. But sometimes these smashes wouldn't necessarily look. So what we can do though, if we want to bring them out, just to show this, with the things being connected uh, the closest to um, the base is that the smash is now going to go for this. You should see that the mini boss will come down and want to get the same inner structures because these will be structure number structure number one because they're the closest structure to the inside which this is sort of zero this base bit. Now what they're going to do because these are the second closest walls so these are the next easiest walls for them to get to as well is that they're just going to go for these these are five and six structures away i believe two three four five to touch to the inner corners of here now you can actually count through the terrain or just count around the outside of the terrain as long as you make sure that the number of structures whether it go through the terrain or not is just the least amount of structures to connect it up So you just you just imagine if there were structures connecting it. And yeah, here's how to just get them all to walk into the geyser. Just like straight into the geyser. You just have the structures all floating above the amplifier. And then you just have these as the closest walls on the ground. Uh, as well as up here, so these structures up the top you can't actually place a wall here otherwise they'll go for this so you can't have this wall here and i don't i, don't, I think it's like not that one but yeah don't don't put these walls here and you should be good again i'll just quickly show off the current amplifier i'll just show it off just so you can actually see what i've got i'll just get rid of these first though Now I have multiple things going on in this build, so just kind of ignore it at the minute. But if, 
there won't be there won't be none of that down there so what they're actually going to do when they're in the spawn is they come across here or down the other side i haven't built the tunnels properly so you can ignore my tunnels but what they're going to be doing is coming down here and either jumping around following this pathway which is in here so in in here is where i place like steps so these are almost like floating So in here is like almost like floating stairs that they'll bounce all the way down to get to this part of the base. But yeah, when there's no walls around this part of the amp, they will just walk straight into the geyser um, straight away. So you'll see them come in here straight away. But you can't have any structures placed, with any walls like within the five tile range. Now building it above the amp can be a little bit um, different especially because it, they would want they would need to take a huge route back to be able to get to this sometimes you will see that you can do it so you can actually place walls above the amp and they'll try and go around a giant circle to get back onto the amplifier or if they're not going to be able to do this they will just uh, just go for this so as you can see like no walls are closer down the bottom and easier to get. There are some floating walls though. Now you can use these to create cycles of the smashes as well. So you can make them run around in rings around and go back up and come back down again. You can do that. But in this instance, this is built for just making them go straight into the geyser. Anyway. I hope you like that. I mostly build my bases to purposely let things through so I can show off these quick so uh, ignore the fact that uh, everything makes it through at the beginning I hope you enjoyed that video see you guys